Hello, welcome to IC3D, it's Joe, and today we're going to look at a add-on for Blender. It's called Animation Layers, and it's been developed by uh, Tao Hershko, and I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that animation at the start of the video. Um, I actually haven't completed it yet, so I'm hoping it turns out all right. Um, please subscribe and hit the bell notification if you liked it. Um, so let's jump into this. So to get started, I'm just going to click on my armature here and you can do this with any object, but it also works for armatures, thankfully. And you can go to animation and click on this turn on animation. Um, once in there, you will need to assign it an active an, an active action. You can assign it through the um, action editor and it will get applied straight away. Uh, and then I'm just going to put on this injured run. So this is some mocap I have generated and it is, uh, see, it is just a, a running animation and he kind of looks a bit ginger, gingerly the way he runs because he's been injured. He's going to be running away from zombies, I think. And uh, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to adjust this a little bit to make him stand correctly. And what we want to be able to do is use the animation layers to uh, easily edit this animation. So it looks a bit better. So first thing we're going to do is uh, click the plus button. And what that's going to do is give us a base layer. So the base layer is this uh, animation we have here. And we're also going to then have an animation layer. So this is where we're going to add our new animation to. So the first thing I want to do, I'm just going to rename this. I'm going to call it move Y. So I'm going to move him across the Y axis because I want him to be running towards this building. Uh, so all I'm going to do is click on that, hit I. I'm going to put a location keyframe in. And then I'm going to move it up until he stops moving, which is around here. There, 214. And then I'm just going to press G and Y to make him move. And I'm going to put him around there. Now, if I press I and put in a location keyframe again, and he's running across there. Great. Now it is uh, easing in and easing out. So I want to put the interpolation mode to linear. There we go. So now it's just going to move a bit more. Solid. Great. Cool. So then we've got that. Now that's added a little bit to our animation and that looks good. Um, but what we also want to do is kind of have this guy look back like in, in terror from the, uh, the zombies that are chasing him. So uh, what we can do now is we can do another plus, which is going to give us another layer. So I'm going to call this one turn around. And how that works is I'm going to have a look here. I'm just going to place him probably around there, halfway across where he's looking around. And what we're going to do here is we're going to press control tab to go into pose mode. And uh, we might just move this to a better sort of spot, kind of like there. And what we're going to do first is move his head. So let's click on this is uh, head control. I'm going to hit I for and put a location rotation. Now, once we've done that, we can move it forward a couple of frames. Let's go 10. Yeah, let's go 15. Actually, it's about half a second. And then let's go uh, R and Z to rotate on the Z axis. Move his hair just a little bit like that, like he's looking around. And then let's go R and Y to make it look like he's going to just have his head pop up a little bit. That's better. Like that. Then what we'll do there is we will uh, hit I and put a location at rotation. So as he's running, his head goes across. And I think we can still make that a little better. So what we'll do next is rename this actually. Let's call this turn head. And let's make another layer and call this one 
return body. Okay, so around about there, he's going okay, and he's looking around there, but he just needs his, let's click back on this, starts about there, okay. So we need to click on the turn body, and I think we just want to grab this control, and we want to hit I, location, rotation. Again, it was around the 15 mark, so I think Let's just jump back onto this one over here. And what we want to do now is rotate this one on the Z just a little bit. So it looks like he's kind of turning back while he's running. And hit I, location, rotation. So there we go. So now he's running and he's kind of looked back. Now he's still looking back. So we need to get him to look start looking forward again. So what we want to do then is we want to make sure we have our head selected and make sure we have this layer selected, the turn head selected. And we want to copy this frame here because we want to hold it for a little while. Control C and probably about there, Control V. And then what we want to do when we come back to about here again, another 10, 15 frames, we want to copy, we want to copy this Control C, Control V to get it back to where it was beforehand. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking the head isn't where it was, uh, it's right because it's being affected by the body as well. So, so how we can demonstrate that, we can come up to here and we have these stars. And this works similarly as the, um, the non-linear animation tracks. So if I click on this turn head, start and you can see this head just slightly pinged back a bit because now we don't have the, uh, the turn body affecting it. And if we have a look, Nothing else is affecting it because that's the only thing we've got going. And we can see, there we go, he moves his head and moves the head back to exactly where it was. So that's great. Let's push that back off. And now we want to do the same thing with the turn body. So we're going to jump back to, yeah, keep the cursor there so we know where it's going to go. Turn body, make sure we have this selected. And I'm going to go to here. Just going to move that across because I've already done it. And then uh, 10, 15 frames again. Going to copy this one over. Okay. So now we press play. He's running. He looks back and looks forward again. Great. Um, and that's really the, the crux of this add on. Um, it lets you add in. Um, animation layers really quickly, really easily. Um, yes, there is a lot that can be done through the original Blender UI, but this just makes it a little bit simpler. The next part of this is the Merge Bake, and this is probably where it becomes really handy and becomes superior to the Blender um, tools that are currently available. So once you have your, um, your animation set and you're happy with it, you can do a couple of things here. Now you can you can bake this into one action. So right now, um, if you have a look in the back end on the non-linear animation, these are all separate tracks, uh, but we can make this one action instead. So we can just uh, reuse it wherever we want. And to do that, all we go, go to do is go to merge bake. Now, um, just keep all these as is. Um, I don't want to, because of the way this is set up, I don't want uh, the, the merge cyclic and F modifiers, and I don't want the smart bake. So, um, if you don't know what the smart bake is, the smart bake is if you want to keep the the same amount of overall keyframes instead of uh, a keyframe per frame. So, it might do some weird things depending on what you want, but uh, if that's what you need, then tick that. But in my case, I don't need it. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to merge down. So it's going to merge it all into this one action layer now, and there we go. He's running across. And just to illustrate that it is actually into one layer, I press stop there. I'm going to turn this off now because I no longer need it. And I'm going to go to our action editor. And I can see here we've got this injured run here. And that's been compressed down to this new animation. Your existing animation should should still be kept and appended with 001. So if we have a look there, we can still see we still get our original animation as well if you want to reuse that. 
So yeah, um, I hope you uh, like this add-on. Um, if you like videos like this, uh, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and uh, see you next time.